Now your ABC7 First Alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. Air temperature coming in at 70 degrees right now and the dew point value I think is significant coming in at 68 making it feel kind of humid and sticky and you kind of get the sense that there's something going on in the atmosphere and that something is rain showers out in the Gulf gradually drifting closer to us. We have a east southeast wind coming in at about eight continuing to kind of pump up that moisture with that little bit of a subtly component. So across the region temperatures are fairly uniform 70 in Arcadia 70 in Sarasota. 70 in Wachula, 70 in Bradenton. You got the picture. The cloud cover kind of helping to do that. Plus, the winds are onshore as opposed to coming in from uh, Gulf water. So yeah, we're, lo we're looking pretty good, or rather offshore. So we're looking at a lot of cloud cover across the region right now. And that's going to kind of smear out daytime heating, if you will. Um, it's not going to allow us to get to as warm a temperature as we saw yesterday, which was pretty impressive in some parts of the state of Florida. But for us, I think we'll probably top it out in the low to mid uh, 80s today. We're in the upper 80s yesterday. Uh, the cloud cover will help to limit the, the strength of the storms that we get around the region today and also the, the rain chance itself. So by about 9 o'clock, we'll put in about a 20% chance of a light sprinkle, a passing shower, a little bit of a heavy mist, if you will. And then as we head into the lunchtime hour, I think our rain chances will start to climb. And then as we get at about 3 p.m., our rain chances will max out at about 30%. A lot of that stuff is going to be in inland areas, I think, as we head into the day. And our winds start to shift to a more southwesterly direction. And then by 7 p.m. we'll reduce it to 20%. And then we'll have one more chance at a round of showers moving through here probably tomorrow morning. And then after that, we'll start to clear out. And tomorrow afternoon, I think, will be pretty nice. And that'll lead into a string of beautiful days. Low pressure area located in the deep south drifts off toward the Atlantic coast. And as it does that, the mid-Atlantic region and the deep south parts of the Carolinas has a risk of some severe weather today. So if you are traveling, Atlanta Airport, the Charlotte Airport, Raleigh-Durham Airport, all have a chance at seeing some delays because of weather. The frontal boundary itself carves through here tomorrow and then high pressure builds in back behind it. So we get clouds today. We get clouds tomorrow as the front moves through. Slight rain chances, not real high rain chances because the atmosphere is kind of stable and that cloud cover will hold down the heating. And then sunny by midweek as we start to see that high pressure ridge build in. So here's your hour by hour future cast. We'll see a few scattered showers moving in from Gulf waters through the morning hours. Yeah, rain chance about 20% or so. And then by lunchtime, we'll start to see the focus begin to be more in inland areas. There'll still be a few scattered showers around. But still, I think inland will be where the heaviest rains will be falling later today. Temperatures will top out in the low to mid 80s. And then as we head into tomorrow morning, I think another chance at a few showers as the front itself actually moves through. Once it does that, this tan color, that's your dry air. And that'll be headed this way, bringing us a midweek dry out and lots of sunshine for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, possibly Saturday. We'll look for um, a wind that will be shifting to the west this afternoon. Boaters, about 10 knots. Not a horrible day for boating out there, but you'll catch a shower or two. Pretty sure of that. 30% chance of rainfall today. Tomorrow, about a 40% chance early on, then clearing. And then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, all look really good with lots of sunshine around and lower relative humidity. Another front limps its way through on Saturday with a slight chance of showers, and then we clear out again for Sunday.